So while the snow is still piled up all around and the camper parts are down in the basement, I'm going to film a few quick and easy storage ideas. Now this will not be a super exciting video, but I swear there will be more interesting stuff coming soon. I'm working on a bunch of other little improvements to the van, but I need to wait until I set the camper up again to finish filming them, because they won't make sense without seeing them installed. A few of you have sent me some suggestions of parts of the van build you'd like to see in more detail, so I'm going to be working on those this spring also. First up, would be somewhere to keep those clothes you take off and plan to put back on, and extra sweaters, or towels, or anything you want to keep close at hand inside the van, but don't want to leave just lying around. The solution I came up with was using these lightweight grocery bags. The handles can be slipped over the headrests and the whole bag swung around to the front seat to make more room for our feet at night. I bought these ones off Amazon and I've been using them for two years now and have held up quite well. But it kind of bugged me that they had to hang sideways, which also made it harder to put stuff in them when they were hanging up. So what I want to do is to change the handles around so that the bag will hang straight on the seat back. For this new set of bags, I wound up ordering them directly from the manufacturer's website because they had a much better selection than what was available on Amazon. Be Green was sold out of the set of five black bags that I wanted, but when I contacted them to ask when they would be back in stock, they set it up right away so I was able to place my order the next day. The shipping's not as fast as Amazon, but since I can't go camping until spring, I wasn't in a hurry. I guess because I emailed back and forth with them. After I placed my order, they sent me an email inviting me to be part of their affiliate program. So if you're super keen, I will leave my fancy affiliate link in the description below. But I don't know how happy they'll be with this video, so it's basically me taking their bags apart. But that's life. So I've unpicked the seam at the top of the handles, cleaned up some loose threads. Now I just need to slip one end into the other. Then I'm just going to make sure it's all straight and lying flat. Now I can sew it up. Ta-da! New handle configuration. The bags also have little pockets. The idea was to fold up the bag and stuff them in the pocket so they're easier to tote around. And they also have these little loops which are meant for hanging the bags on a kind of rack while you bag your groceries. For my use, I've added some Velcro to the pockets. And I've had to remove one of the little loops, but there's actually another under the pouch. So as you can see, it now hangs nice and straight, and they can still swing around to the front. Another feature of these swanky new bags is that they are way more discreet for those occasions, when you don't want a bunch of brightly colored stuff mysteriously sitting on your front seat. And our improved pockets can be used for storing little things you don't want to lose, like car keys, for example. And they won't fall out even if you take the bags and shake them around. Now, as a bonus, we're also going to make some bedside organizers. These are some leftover pieces of an over-the-door shoe organizer that I took apart. The space I want to use is about 8 inches by 15 inches, so three pockets should fit just about right. Now I've cut them down and refinished the edges, and I've added a strip of fabric at the top. I turned over the top edge of the fabric twice to make a thicker fold, and sewn it, leaving a kind of soft hook shape. Here's where they're going to go. I'm going to be using this little gap between the plastic and the rubber window seal to attach them to the van. To install them, I'm just going to use this plastic spatula and just poke the folded edge into the gap. Then pull it tight so the thicker part of the seam catches against the plastic panel. And that's it. So here they are. And they seem pretty solid. We're just going to be using them to hold things like reading glasses, or toothbrushes, flashlights. That bedside stuff you don't want getting lost somewhere in the van. And I'm quite impressed with how well they worked out. They seem to hold quite a bit of weight, and I like that they leave the built-in cubbies and cup holders free. 
And like almost everything else I've made to the van, they're easy to take out, just by pulling them up and out. So thank you for watching, and goodbye for now from Snowy Canada.